Yeah, you can see she's, she's ripped that with it building up again. Poor little girl. Poor little girl. We're going to get that all checked out. Okay. Hello there. Let's see what we can do. It could well have been, you know, that she's done a bit of a wee, you know, in the time that she's had this, you know, since we've weighed her. Yep. She could have um, done a wee, but also she's opened this abscess and there's weight in that. So, her weight loss, we really need to weigh again tomorrow, but she has dropped a bit. Nice and warm. <laughs> Bit cleaner now. <laughs> if that's the case, it's really good. I'm gonna have a look what you've done, sort of part. Yeah, you have a good close look. There is a real hole through actually. Oh no. There's a hole through there. Oh, it's not good. So, let's see. This one's going there. Okay, you can actually see the tissue here. It's the, the how it's changed colour. Mm -hmm. So it's actually died off yeah. through there. But yeah, she's actually got a big hole through there. So. No, that's not good at all, sweetie pie. Hmm. 
Well, we know what the problem is. Yep. In the sense that it's come through the jaw. That could actually be the connection through into the back of her mouth. So she's really open to infection now. Because they could suture it closed. Um, the problem is you need to have, you know, disinfectants, you know, antiseptic put on that, which we can do, but it's very prone to infection okay. as it is open. The good thing is that swelling that was there before has gone right down. Okay. So I actually think it's, I think it's going to heal really well. Oh, yeah. good. <laughs> but we can't have it open. Like yeah. That. Yes. Yeah. What you going to do that for? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. the little girl that had the enormous abscess. Hi sweetie, hi. And she's still really struggling. So she's um, been at the vet and she had to have a section of skin removed here and then cauterized. They uh, looked at re-gluing this open area from the abscess and you can see how tiny it is now by comparison. It was out to here, it was as big as her head but um, they want it open for draining and yeah, it's still continuing to ooze which is um, not nice but she's she's actually dropping weight at the moment she's not eating as much as she could she's eating certain foods she can eat grass she's eating carrots so we're upping her critical care feed at the moment and we'll continue to monitor her really closely she's on antibiotics pain relief and anti-inflammatories and uh, we'll continue continue on and hopefully this little one can pull through um, she is a little guinea pig in herself but right now she weighs 575 grams which is very small and when she first had this abscess including the weight of the abscess she was 670 there would have been 70 mils of fluid in the abscess itself so she dropped actually to around 600, then she regained to 635, and then when she tore the piece of skin, she's now dropped under the 600. So it doesn't particularly overtly worry us. You can see she's bright eyed. She's continuing to eat, which is really good, but we do have to monitor her really carefully. We're trying to um, supplement feed her as well, and um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So we'll keep you posted, everyone. She's had a real struggle. Bye now. You there, sweet goodbye. Let's move this back a bit. I know. Look at you. Look. Look at how good you are looking. Who's going great guns? Look how tiny this is now. Yes, you're going great, aren't you? Loved your grass today. Yes, you do. Hello. We're doing everyone we're up to 620 she's maintaining weight this girl is rocking it look at this wound area which is diminishing in size it's really quite small now tiny tiny weenie area so still on antibiotics she's now feeding really well and um, getting back to her old self won't be long before she meets up with her buddy again so she's coming along really well this little abscess is clearing out. You can see a tiny little bit of liquid still clearing from it. The size of it is minuscule. It's diminishing all the time, isn't it? 
We're going so well. So this was a girl with an abscess pretty much the size of her head. And there we go. Very sortable. And thanks to Lynn. <laughs> Doable. That stays up to 3 a.m. everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um, now that the wound area is so small, we're not having to spray that with anything, but we do make sure this, this area where, sorry, sweetie, where it's um, still dripping out, we just wipe that clear, wiping that clear of any pus or debris so it can stay clear and continue to heal, which is what we're doing. That's great. That's it. That's all we do. Antibiotics and uh, continuing to nurture her. The everything that um, was a part of that abscess has gone. There's no swelling, no tissue, no infection. It's really, really looking great. So it's healing from the inside out. The actual incision she did herself <laughs> accidentally, and uh, yeah. So we just we just maintain everything and keep the infection at bay. Hello, sweetie bye. Come back here. Just going to wipe that area again to make sure it's completely sterile and continuing to. That's to heal. amazing. Are you impressed? Yes. <laughs> Having seen the first. Oh, the first size. The first yuck expulsion of this. No one would have thought she'd be alive, mm. and the vet didn't want to deal with it. So here she is. She's doing well. She's going to be great. <laughs>